Greetings, what is going on all you human beings who are worthy of love? Nadi Oliwis, can I go, guys? Can I go? What is the news? Are you with peace? I am with peace in Oneida. It is phenomenal to be back with you all for another week of learning. I just want to say again, you all are just phenomenal. Everything y'all are doing in the group me in terms of putting yourselves forward and connecting your headspace and your heart space, being willing to open up, create community. I have to say this is by far the most community driven asynchronous class I've ever been a part of. And for that, I want to say thank you all, because I know this class is what you, you, what you, you get what you put into it. And you all have just been phenomenal in terms of sharing, understanding, learning. It's been an honor to learn alongside each and every one of you. So thank you for that. Yawanko Gunalunkwa means thank you and I love you and Oneida. Grateful for each and every one of you. For this week for your readings, we're moving on here to a new book. And it is called God is Red by Vine Deloria Jr. And we're going to be checking this book out as well, too. First published in 1972, Vine Deloria Jr.'s God is Red remains the seminal work on Native religious views, asking new questions about our species and our ultimate fate. Celebrating three decades in publication with a special 30th anniversary edition, this classic work reminds us to learn that, quote, that we are a part of nature, not a transcendent species with no responsibilities to the natural world. It is time again to listen to Vine Deloria Jr.'s powerful voice telling us about religious life that is independent from Christianity and that reveres the interconnectedness of all living things. Scope it for chapters one through five this week. And that also ties into our videos, which we'll see in a minute here. A reminder, our midterm exam coming up in a little bit. This is week five right now. So you have week six and then week seven. You are going to be uploading two to three minute oral presentations on up to three concepts learned in the class or from the class or which are related to the class using that critical lens, believing that truth has no fear from investigation tying it into what are your lived experiences, what are your observations, what, how can you add value and contribute to our learning together as we put our minds together, so be it in our minds, as we say in the Oneida opening prayer. So uh, whatever stands out to you, whatever you wanted to add value with, that is what you're going to be doing it on, created on time, accuracy, and effort. So as long as you're putting forth that effort and sticking within the time frame and putting forth some information, that we're, which is related to American Indian philosophy, Native peoples, beliefs, worldviews, spirituality. Um, so that is uh, our week five, uh, your reading for week five. Now I'm going to check, take a look at here, which is our videos for week five. You can see here a number of ones from Von Deloria Jr. and some interviews here. Really powerful talk on the world we used to live in. Listen to some of the stories that we'll talk about here with some of the spiritual leaders and the capabilities that these spiritual leaders that they were able to do in terms of um, transcending the natural form and being able to, to move in the spirit and just take a look at the stories, listen to what, what he has to say. The uh, really powerful researcher, no longer with us, but it's pretty amazing to be able to have his power of oral communication, his oratory skills, this um, the spoken language and having that be something that can be shared with us now. So I encourage you all to watch all these for this week's viewings. And then this is uh, our week six and week seven. You can see Pixar and continues, but this is where we're at right now for week five. Take a look at it. Looking forward to hearing all of your responses. And I would say a name of the game here is respecting and sharing. If you don't have to agree with everything that I say or what someone else in the class says or what someone else in one of our videos or reading says, but I would say to just have respect and have show respect how you want to be respected and listen to understand with the idea that truth has no fear from investigation. And as Don Coyhis from the Mohican Nation talks about as a, Connecting that headspace and that heart space is that 18 inch journey is the longest journey a human being will make in a lifetime. So phenomenal stuff, people. I really hope you appreciated those words from Tom Porter as well, too. You know, I have a, a book up here as well, too, from Anne Grandma said these Iroquois uh, teachings. So some really powerful books. And very serendipitous that Tom Porter talks about working with those the up in Aquazosne with those schools there. Um, he's talking about the Mohawk Nation around there. Um, that's where I go frequently for doing this community peacemaking work sometimes referred to as restorative practices or talking circles. I prefer restorative. I, I, preserve, I prefer community peacemaking as that is what is more traditional, what has been practiced for millennia, by, over millennia by Haudenosaunee peoples. And it's part of our world belief, part of our philosophy, world beliefs, and how we make sense of the world as well too. So I go to the same schools that Tom Porter is talking about in these videos here as well too. And the second one and teaching about uh, listening and sharing the same way that we did when the Haudenosaunee first came together as warring nations, burying their weapons underneath the great white fir tree of peace, uh, listening to understand and making peace within our communities as well too. So 
With that being said, I cannot wait to learn with, from you all. You're going to see in the group meeting the question for this week. It's going to be about community. What stands out to us about community? What do we appreciate about community? Whether it's the community that we've created here or just one that we feel most where we belong, most at home. Uh, with that, I feel very at home and I feel like I belong with each and every one of you here. It's an honor here to be learning alongside you and from you. And I just want to say, Yaw Wonko, Ganalunkwa, Nugiwa means thank you. I love you until next time. If nobody loves you, Dr. Reed loves you. Take care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And let me know if you have any questions. If you have any uh, for office hours, if you're looking to make an appointment, just email me ahead of time. If you can't make it during the scheduled time, uh, this week, uh, the during the scheduled time, it's uh, it's changed. So this week, just uh, email me for an appointment if you need any help. Other than that, grateful for each and every one of you. Take care, everybody.